Hey and welcome back to another video. We're here today to talk about some mobile phone companies and specifically TELUS. So this video is titled, Dear TELUS, It's Over Between Us. Now this is has shades from the last video that we did about TD uh, Insurance because I was in a situation with TD Insurance where I was a very loyal long-term customer, 11 years. In this scenario, um, I'm an, or was an eight-year customer of TELUS. Mm -hmm. Now, for those in the United States who don't know what TELUS is, it's just a, it's a mobile company brand, kind of like... Like Verizon, yeah, T-Mobile, AT&T. Exactly. Uh, we have several large coast-to-coast -coast companies yeah, that do so. Yeah, we have uh, Bell, Rogers, TELUS, uh, Kudo, Virgin. I'm sure there's some others, but that's basically the big five that we have in, in, in Canada. So I was with TELUS. In 2010 is when I got my first contract with TELUS. Now, the reason I did that is because they were cheaper than everyone else. They Their commercials were great. Mm, they always yeah. had the, the cute animals and stuff. <laughs> um, over the years, I used to get calendars from TELUS just as a thank you of cute animals and stickers and all this stuff. I mean, it's... it's they do a great job of marketing. Marketing-wise, yes. They're yeah. very kind of like new age, modern. They care about stuff. I like that. It was different. It wasn't freaking boring Rogers and boring Bell. It was different. So I, I appreciated that. I yeah. wanted to give that company my business. So I stayed with them for eight years. And then everything kind of changed in around, around 2015, 2016. The calendar stopped coming. The stickers stopped coming. Ooh. The customer service went way down. Um, they started increasing their prices that was the same as Rogers and the same as Bell. So there was no reason to be with Telus like there used to be. So they were just another one of these companies that just kind of gouged you for everything that you had. So I started to look elsewhere, and my contract was coming up. Uh, to, it was about to finish, and it was the renewal was coming up. Um, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to look elsewhere. And you had already made the switch. I had six or seven months, maybe a year or something like that before that. Mm -hmm. You found a company called Public Mobile, which is a bare bones company that offers uh, either monthly. Uh, you can pay by month. By two months or by three months, is that correct? Right. Yeah. Right. So if you pay by three months, you save six dollars. If you pay by, if you pay for two months, you save four dollars or whatever. So the longer term that you mm -hmm. commit for, to, for your contract, um, you, the less you pay. And it's not really even a contract. Yeah. It's more of a pay as you go, but you pay in advance. Exactly. But there's no hardware stuff. Like you, do, you can't finance a phone through that. Yeah. You don't have. You a, have to have your own phone. You have to have your own phone. It has to be unlocked yeah. and, and movable from carrier to carrier. And I'm not trying to steal your no, no, no. show. No, there, but you're but right. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically month to month. And it's self-serve. You, there's no store. There's no, there's no human being in, anywhere in the picture. You do everything it's online. all online. Yeah. So you go online, you order a SIM card. The SIM card arrives. You go back online to figure out how to activate the SIM card. And then the phone starts working. Yeah, it's easy. It's pretty And it easy. happens like this. So yeah. it's, it's great. So that's what I did. I switched over to public mobile. And you got a referral from me, and you save money. This company, Public Mobile, or this little, we'll get into who owns this company in a second, but <laughs> yeah. um, they're all about loyalty. They, if they offer, if the longer that you stay with the company, if you stay there for a year, for the next year, you get money off of your account. If you refer someone, you get money off of your account. If you decide to have pre prepaid renewals on your every month or every three months or two months, whatever, you pay less. Yeah, like the it's all these little things where. If the longer you stay with us, the more you do for us and help us grow, the the less money that you will pay. And the prices are really reasonable. With TELUS, I was spending $110 a month for like a base plan, like only local calling, two gigs a month. Uh, and I'm not sure how that compares to the United States plans, but that in Canada, that's... I, I think generally Americans and Europeans, people in the UK and continental Europe would be shocked. Yeah, they pay way less. Way less than, than we pay here in Canada. Uh, that's one of the main complaints that Canadians have, especially those that travel overseas and see what what real affordable and quality uh, cellular and data rates can be el anywhere else in the world almost. Yeah, these cellular and mobi mobility companies in Canada are, have a monopoly on the uh, whole market. It's, it's bad. It's awful. So public mobile... Um, so I was paying 110 for two gigs local calling. With public mobile, I'm paying, it works out to be $50 a month. For, well, okay, I did it in three months. So I'm paying $171, I think, for three months. I get nine gigs over the three months in Canada-wide calling. So it's, I mean, I'm saving, like, 
I don't know the percentage, but I'm like I was paying 110 for one month versus 170 for three months, and I get yeah. more stuff. So it's about 40 so. percent of what you're paying before. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. you're actually getting more more service for that 40 percent. Yeah. Of the it's, original price. So it's. I'm very happy. Now the problem is, <laughs> this company is owned by Telus. <laughs> That, that's the crazy irony. TELUS has three tiers of corporate presence in Canada. There's TELUS, your full service, you can buy a phone through them, they have storefronts and all that. Then just underneath that is KUDO, which is also owned by TELUS, but they're a little more basic. And then there's Public Mobile, where we're affiliated with now. They all use the same cellular towers, the same coverage, the same technology, everything. But you just pay different tiers of rates based on the amount of service, the amount of, I guess, a headache of a customer you yeah. might be. We're no headache customers, other than the fact that we're <laughs> slagging people on the air once in a while. But as far as, you know, I, I, know, I can't get my phone to work. Like, we're not like that. We're pretty self-service. Yeah. We're fairly high tech in here, and we can figure things out. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm still <laughs> paying tells, which sucks, but at least I'm paying less. Yeah. And this even gets more complicated because there's public mobile, kudo. You said Kudo, right? It wasn't Virgin. It was yeah. Kudo, Talus. But then Talus uses Bell Towers. Yeah. Yeah. So Talus doesn't even have its own own towers. Tel, Telus uses, switches over and uses Bell Towers. So Telus pays Bell to use their tower service. It's just, it's weird. Yeah. It's and weird. it's probably something that's fairly common in the States. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure. That where different carriers were actually use the same technology and share towers, share facilities, uh, pay each other rent money for that space or yeah. however that works. It's it's all <laughs> voodoo. But uh, yeah, that is funny because you're actually getting the Bell Network through TELUS, but not even paying through TELUS. You're really <laughs> yeah. paying public mobile, which is TELUS. Yeah. But and, it's, anyways, um, it's, so I, it's a win to win lose kind of. It's a win for me because I save money, but to lose because I'm yeah. still feeding money to TELUS. But. See, my plan is $135 for three months. So it's basically $45 a month for unlimited local, almost virtually unlimited local calling. And I have two gigs a month. So it's six, six gigs over three months. Hmm. Uh, so I'm paying a little bit less or, than you, but I'm getting a f less, fewer gigs than you are hmm. as well. But I've never topped out. And you also have out. You the referral. And I have the referral discounts that are ongoing, yeah. So. And you're not the only one. I've referred a couple of people at work. Oh. And they've they've bought on. So I'm... You know, if I can refer like seventy-eight more people, I'll have free telephone. But <laughs> that's, and that's I'm happy to do it. That's kind of not a joke because that's a possibility. There's no yeah. there's no cap. Like, yeah. There's it doesn't say in the fine print that you can only refer five people. Like you can keep going and going and going. Yeah. Now eventually, if if this business model start stop working for them, if so many people were were doing referrals that they were actually losing money on a large component of their customer base, they might have to change that up a bit. Yeah. But on the other hand. If all those people are doing successful referrals, they're making the money in yeah. the other pocket anyway. Yeah. So I, I love it. I love it. It's, and yeah, it's, it's great. We're still, even at that rate, though, we're paying way more than people are paying oh, in the U.S. And when I go to the United States, which is fairly frequently, I have another service that I will uh, buy, and I have a SIM card all ready to go, and I use it when I need to. And I will buy five days worth of American coverage or 10 days, however long I'm going to be staying there. I pop that other SIM on my phone. Now I have a dual SIM phone, so I can just put the, both SIMs in the phone at the same time. And then I have my American presence. I have American phone number. Uh, it works great uh, because doing it that way is cheaper even than the public mobile American rate to go to the States and roll. Yeah, you pay like an extra $7 a day or $5 a day, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. So. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Do you have any anything no. else to say? I'm good. I know people have stories <laughs> about phone companies, so please let us know down below in the comment section uh, your experiences with these companies, whether it's in the Canada or the United States or wherever. Love to know. Uh, well, I want to hear your frustrations, so uh, let us know. And thank you for watching this video. Appreciate it. Hope you can hit the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.